Fans, we're back. This should be a great matchup. Tokyo Magnum, a young man that we have seen on this program before, in tag team action, singles competition, will face Chris Adams. Brain Sting and Hollywood Hogan. We have said it's the match of a lifetime, and this is a match that wrestling fans have wanted to see for longer than the 15 months that Sting has been missing in action, so to speak. Even back when Hollywood Hogan first arrived on the scene in WCW, we all didn't see Hogan and Sting. By one means or another, Hogan avoided it. But now, in 1997, December 28th, he cannot avoid it any longer. He must go in the ring against Sting. You're right about that. Even when he wrestled all over the world for different organizations all over the country, Hogan and Sting never met. Hogan didn't want it to happen. There's a reason. And, you know, Hogan's a big guy, too. Don't take that away from him. He's 6'8", 275. But he couldn't stand the fact that Sting had more popularity than him. And Sting always did. All the years, all the time going. More people like Sting than Hogan. So now, it is definitely a fact. WCW versus the NWO, but Sting against Hogan. Those two names, Sting Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, and Sting, will headline the biggest night in pro wrestling history. We're so proud to be bringing you this mega spectacular on Sunday night, December 28th, two weeks from this Sunday. You know, like I said, history's going to be made. Even to begin with, history's being made because this is the first wrestling card in the history of the new building. It'll be number one. There'll never be anything before it. In the MCI Center, the, uh, the venue that opened up earlier this month on December 2nd when the Wizards, the Washington Wizards, defeated the uh, Seattle Sonics. In the opening of that building, that was back on December 2nd. And now on the 28th, Pro Wrestling comes to the MCI Center, downtown Washington, D.C., by the way. And uh, we'll be bringing you that event, Sting and Hogan. It'll be nothing that you've ever, like nothing you've ever experienced before in your life. Yeah, it's going to change. And uh, Zabisco, uh, Eric Bischoff. Fans of the weeks to come, uh, next week we will have more matches to bring you on this spectacular card. It's more than just two matches, as you know. But certainly Sting and Hogan, when fans get to the arena that day, that's what they're going to be talking about. That's what we're talking about now. Well, you just wait. Um, oh, drop kick. The disco. When he gets in that ring, Eric is just going to throw him all over that place like a washer. Yeah, Eric have no problem. No problem at all. Matter of fact, maybe Eric should wear one of those helmets with a camera in it, like the hockey players do, a race car driver, so he can, you can see on the spot action of him getting his, uh, or him kicking the Visco's tail. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd like to see a lot of those angles. Wouldn't that be something? Yes, it would. Chris Adams and Tokyo Magnum going out. Look at that. Oh! He hoisted him up very high with that power bomb. Adams, a great competitor. And of course, Tokyo Magnum, a true young man in his formative years. Oh, oh boy! Super kick time. That's his appended move. And it won the match for Chris Adams. That man can wrestle. He's been all over the world. He's held major titles all over the country. A lot of different countries. Chris Adams gets the win. And we still have our main event matchup to come here on Worldwide Wrestling. Right now, Brain, uh, take a look at what went down earlier on in this matchup. You're right, Tony. Next coming up is Lex Luger, but let's look at this Tokyo Magnum here. Kind of kind of lost his train of thought there. Mr. Adams took advantage and just drove him as hard as he could into that mat. Super kick to the app. Tokyo's not going anyplace. He's going to stay right there. Your winner, Chris Adams. Chris Adams, your winner. Alex Wright, Lex Luger are next. Come on back with us on Worldwide.